the storm is dying down but not completely over. For the first time since about a week, many Lagos residents are able to hit the street freely with no entrance whatsoever and embark on their daily routine in stark contrast with the situation in the last days that led to a 24-hour curfew that has now been reviewed by the state government twice. Even as activities resumed in the reviewed curfew regime, the deep wound inflicted on the city still hurts and will take some time to heal. I was shocked uh, to the extent these damages, the way it has gone, under the guise of protest, hijacked by hoodlums. Uh, I felt that I needed to come and see things myself physically. And I came, I first went to the primary school, I, where the whole, the, the administrative block has been burnt down. What it means to the people is that those who have graduated from Ojudu Primary School, we have no place to make reference to uh, in terms of records, in terms of testimonials, in terms of transcripts, all that have been burned down. Unfortunately, I decided to come into the road safety where I am now. I discovered that virtually all the, uh, all the things that make the system work have either been burned down or vandalized or taken away. Uh, the two 300 and 500 kVA generators burned down. All their vehicles, which they use in rescue operations, have been burned down. As at the time the protest started, everybody, everybody in, Le in Nigeria and in Lagos, of course, joined them in verbal protests here and there. But when it became obvious that the hoodlums took over, the, it was the responsibility of the organizers of the protesters. They also have the same responsibility to ensure that there is peace. Uh, for me, all I can say is to appeal to our youths. Uh, the president had made his pronouncements, the governors have made pronouncements that we need to allow peace to reign for development to occur. From this facility, we brought you live pictures of the destruction going on before it was brought under control later on Wednesday. On our return here five days later, we see a calm situation, but for the expression of surprise by those working within the facility on the level of assault on their premises. Just when the workers are settling down for the day and move beyond the destruction, another security breach occurs. Three young men with dangerous weapons, including locally made guns, are intercepted by the Eagle Eyed security guards. Their mission within the premises where several property were lost five days earlier remain unclear as at the time of these reports as they are handed over to the appropriate agency for further interrogations where the arrest clearly indicates that the situation within the city still remains volatile as Lagos counts its losses from the opportunistic destruction which we hear will require something in the region of a trillion naira or more to replenish. Tokumbo, Oye Tunji, Rice News, Lagos.